Hello there, Internet. This is Kyle from Mediaverse Podcast today. Well, two days ago, or yesterday, though, we had the launch of uh, of uh, HBO Max. Yeah, so um, I wanted to uh, pretty much talk about it and everything and, you know, give you my opinion. So what's interesting right now about HBO Max in general is that um, I'm just checking my phone right now you'll be kids. I'm dumb sometimes. So, yeah. So, um, HBO Max has, like, so I'm one of the few people that's actually pretty lucky because I actually have a company that's own, owned by AT&T, which is DirecTV, which owns Warner Brothers. So, 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 and, and I also have an HBO subscription. So, so they pretty much just said, hey, you're going to get HBO Max through HBO, through our, through DirecTV, since you're, you're a paid customer and everything, well, so anyway, but any, anyway, though, um, but anyway, though, to, according to these things right now, if you, if you're one of these people, if you have Apple, K, K, uh, Ch- Apple TV channel, um, AT&T TV, Cox for some other reason, I don't know why they put that as a name for your for your cable, Direct TV, Hulu, Optimum, Spectrum, which is probably Time, which is obviously is obviously Time Warner Cable, which is also AT and T, Verizon Files, and Xfinity, and you have an HBO service, you can get you can get HBO Max for no additional charge. That's right, you can get HBO Max, which I think is probably I think probably one of the more accessible. Most accessible, probably easy to get streaming services without banging. Even though an HBO subscription costs fifteen dollars a month, but you're paying for HBO though. This is getting it on top of that. So I've been watching a few shows. I rewatched *Tropic Thunder*, a classic. Um, watched *Watch Primal*, and I just have that in the background. And Jesus Christ, that show's really good. I love watching *Practical Jokers*. It's hilarious. I love the movie. Um, love Aqua Teen, and they got new episodes of Looney Tunes. New episodes of Looney Tunes, and these are not like Bugs or Daffy or Living Together type of thing. These are legit cartoon shorts made just for HBO Go. So let's just get from what we want to see here. So features, we got Big Bang Theory, which which is everything. So if you're wondering why there's so many shows on here, most of the shows, believe it or not, are produced. By, by by Warner Brothers, which is why AT T and T bought them. Which Warner Brothers owns a lot of a lot of th- owns a lot of TVs and movies. So HB, with HBO Max, you pretty much got almost everything. So they've also bought a couple rights here and there. They bought the rights to Doctor Who, which I should be adding that to the thing so I can watch it. Um. They have all the episodes of Laboon Dogs. And I'm not just talking about just, like, episodes. I'm talking about, like, you get the whole first season, which none of it was, some of it was, ne- all of it was never banned. Um, We got season two, which is, has actually the Hunger Strike episode and the Uncle Ruckus episode. And the Hunger Strike episode is actually very important, actually, because they actually meet up in the episode with this guy, which is Reveler Goodwin, which is the Ashford episode. This is really important, actually, if you really think about it. So if you guys ever decide to watch the Boondocks, you could do you just just watch Hunger Strike first, then the Ashford, and then just skip to the Uncle Ruckus episode. It's so good. And that's just part two. Um, part three, some episodes got banned on there, too, actually. I can't remember which one, but um, no, oh, wait, no, none of them got, got banned, actually, because I actually remember some of these episodes, um, and then they do, they literally banned a lot of episodes from episode four, actually, so, so this is worth it just by that alone, actually, if you think about it, um, yeah, so, actually, like, ep- yeah, so, let's go back to where we can go with they have adventure time great 
one of my personal recommendations to everybody would be Doom Patrol. If you have not seen it and you're like, oh, well, I don't want to pay for DC Universe or anything. Like, this was one of the shows, shows when I heard about it. I watched it mainly for Titans and then this came afterwards and I found out. It, I watched it. It's an amazing show. Recommended to everybody. So, um, new Looney Tune cartoons. They have Seth, the Not Too Late show with Elmo. It's pretty much like a late night show with Elmo. And these are all the originals. And none of them caught me fancy except for the Looney Tune cartoons. Because um, it just didn't catch me. Like, it just doesn't really just like do do anything like oh cool Anna Kendrick's with the love life yeah um yeah and then we got some HBOs on here so you have all your HBO stuff you can watch HBO stuff <sighs> sorry guys it's late at night so I gotta do this and here's the big one you can watch all of Harry Potter you can literally have a Harry Potter thought so, yeah, that's amazing. Got your Sopranos, Game of Thrones, Watchmen, another good one I would recommend. And then you got your sections. They got Studio Ghibli, Turner Classic Movies, even Crunchyroll. Not a big collection, though. Just don't expect, expect it to be, like, collect, you know, to, to be, the, you know, to actually be, like, uh, the whole, like, Crunchyroll library. Like, look, they got Fresh Prince of Bel Air on there. You've got your rom coms. You know, you even got Sesame Street. Sesame Street. Scooby Doo, where are you? Because, you know. Ooh, they even have the Jetsons. Oh, wow. They have more than I thought. Oh, oh. Wow. Well, where did all, where the Hanna Bar, where all the Hanna Bartera cartoons go? And then, you see, like, all this stuff. Look, all the Studio Ghibli's are right here. Like all of them, all the all of them in like not in order, but there's all the way to the recent one. I should check out Ride the Wind. I really wanted to check that out. And then you got Adult Swim. You even got some freaking animated direct animated movies, which are really good. Um, I would recommend Killing Joke. Um, Full Metal Alchemist. I would recommend. Uh, Dark Knight and Dark Knight Returns, I would recommend. And, uh, Metal Aquas, I would recommend, even though that ended on a cliffhanger and got canceled. Whole movies. Okay, so, if you ever want to see John H. Benjamin in a breaking role, you need to watch Home Movies. He plays Coach McGurk. He is amazing. He's a great character. Um, all the series and everything. Every blockbuster franchise known to man. Not one known for several dolphins. So... Yeah, so I'm going to say this right now. If you have HBO and you have any of those cable providers, you should get HBO Max. So I, I would highly recommend it. I mean, sorry if the camera's not focused, like with my chin and everything. I'm still new to capturing everything through OBS, but I would totally recommend I really would totally recommend recommend HBO Max if you have these things. But as right now, I wouldn't recommend it for $15 unless then. But my biggest problem is with HBO Max, and that's me and personally. Um, hold on, let me give you a good example. Um, some of the movies did get re a lot of the movies you can watch that you can watch in 4K. So. I'm going to put Batman vs. Superman in because that's one of the movies I know in 4K. And you can see, usually it says HD, and then you would see 4K when you normally see it. They're not showing these movies in 4K. I get you're doing it from a cable provider, but if I'm paying $15 a month, a month, like, through, like, a regular cable package, like, you know, through a different provide, you know, just a regular one, I would expect 4K. Disney does it for 4K for free. And that's seven dollars a month, so I'm that's that's just my only minor gripes. And the content there is great and everything. So okay, if you want, I would recommend HBO Max 
only if you're already subscribed to HBO. Okay? And you have those cable providers. Okay? I would also recommend HBO Max over regular HBO because you're getting all the HBO stuff anyway. So, if you're paying for HBO now, dump it. Just get HBO Max because it's already eligible to upgrade to that anyway, free of charge. So, this has been Kyle from Mediaverse Podcast. Like, favorite, and subscribe, and have a good one.